नमस्कार मंगेश मैथमेटिकल ट्रेडिंग में आप सबका स्वागत है आज 30 मई 2023 मंगलवार का दिन था आपको पता है फिन निफ्टी की एक्सपायरी होती है और चेकपोर्ट ट्रेड कैसे लेने ये मैं आज बताने वाला हूँ इसके पहले संक्षेप में मंगेश मैथमेटिकल ट्रेडिंग के बारे में मैं बताऊंगा कि हाल ही में मैंने आ, मेरे एक दोस्त ने मुझे बताया कि किसी टेलीग्राम के ऊपर चर्चा का विषय था कि भाई मंगेश मैजिकल ट्रेडिंग का किसी के पास क्रैक वर्षन ही गया तो मेरा कोई क्रैक वर्षन नहीं है मैंने किसी को कभी भी नियुक्त नहीं किया है आई हैव नॉट ऑथोराइज एनी वन टू टीच ऑन माय वे ऑफ दिस इज माय ओन फाइंडिंग ईच वर्ड ईच सेंटेंस ईच मेथड इज फाउंड आउट बाई मी दैट इज नॉट अवेलेबल एनी वेर एल्स टेलिंग यू यू मस्ट हैव लर्न विद मी That's all. So there is no crack version. If you want to learn, you will have to contact me or just see my YouTube videos. That's all. Secondly, if you want to really learn something, please pro provide you know need attention to what I'm teaching. I'm just giving a brief uh, concept and how today's trade could have been possible. So let us take this. This is Pin Nifty chart. You can see this is thirtieth. This is the first candle. This is the five minute chart. and first of all i post levels i usually i post nifty and bank nifty levels on my telegram channel i do not post fin nifty today you know someone asked me to kindly post the levels so i posted it late quite late but you can see this this is my uh, telegram channel at 12 8 you no know, mid afternoon uh, these were the levels Nineteen thousand seven one one was hundred percent. Nineteen thousand four thirty six was zero percent. We will consider the three. I mean, this is far off. This is far off. So for the time being, we considered nineteen thousand five twenty seven as the lower level. Nineteen thousand six one nine. The same levels are pl plotted on chart. You you can see the chart now. See these are the same level. Nineteen thousand six one nine and. Uh, Ninety thousand five twenty seven. Now there are two things. When you start to travel, when you start to travel, uh, through train, two things you have to keep in mind. First of all, the number of stations where the train is going to halt. Because at a particular station where you want to alight, if the train is not halting, then there is no point in traveling in that particular train. So stations is. what these levels are all about these are the levels and these are the stations so you know exactly at which point you want to alight and second thing is that you have to get into a crowded unreserved compartment that is your entry and again the same rush will be there you will have to come out of that particular rush that will be your exit so entry and exit are two utmost important things so we get the target i am telling you how what is our sop standard operating procedure the first we get the levels we plot the levels then we wait at a particular point then what we do the second thing is that since we are dealing or trading in in say options today's open you can see was 19518 so the closest strike price was 19500 you must have seen in my past videos This is how we set the chart. Nineteen thousand five hundred call on the top. Nineteen thousand five hundred put at the bottom. This is also five minute chart. This is the first candle. This is the last candle. If you can see, then there is a mathematical process. Okay, and we derive upper level and lower level. Now you can see in call upper level was sixty seven point eight. The lower level was thirty two. And this plus this sixty seven point eight plus thirty two divided by two. The center line is this. This is about nineteen thousand five hundred call. Now nineteen thousand five hundred put the upper level was far away. I will just change the time frame. This is five minute. I will take it to one hour and then probably you you can see the upper level. See the upper level was forty six thirty. That is not visible because of uh, the limit of the five minute chart. Forty six thirty lower level was twenty and. Forty six thirty plus twenty forty five divided by two is thirty three thirty eight. That is the middle level. So here on this chart, you you can see the middle level and the lower level. Now, as the market progresses, there are number of uh, 
there are basically three types of candle pattern you know which you know on which we work so one of the candle patterns is i told you that is we call it a white candle pattern previous candle high plus square root of time so whenever next candle close is greater than previous candle high plus square root of high you get the position that i am not going to show you today i am going to show you a wonderful technique today which is hedging minting money on the expiry day with the help of hedging strategy so the same process is done on 19500 call and 19500 put this is the center line this is the lower line and we saw the upper line this is uh, in 19500 call this is the upper line this is center line this is the lower line in usual course you will see that if call is above the center line put will be below the center line we will go a little bit behind and you will see i am going on yesterday charts and i will show see this is 29 chart i am setting this chart on 29th and you can see clearly see over here if it is going up it's going down okay but on day of expiry an amazing thing happens and on the basis of that we take hedging hedging not by selling anything we buy both one call and one put now where do we buy whenever call and put both are below their center line see here the call is below its center line and put is also below its center line here call was touching the upper line here put was touching the lower line now then the prices came down and at one moment at this moment you can see both call and put prices are below the center line so we exactly buy when call and put touch their lower line okay once i am reiterating once both the prices the price of call and put comes below the center line now this is the time when call and put came below center line see not at this time because this time close is below center line but i mean this is the very first candle usually we tend to do it after 11 pm or so okay once the market gets settled down then when price came below the center line at the same time see 1025 the call price came below center line and the put was already put had gone below it and that came up so once the call touched over here once the call is coming down it touched over here so before that when once we are sure that the price has came below this you can see the price candles getting small and small small and small small and small both are below their respective center lines the price we will buy when it touches this 20.45 we will wait then put will touch so our position would have been one lot of 19,400 bought at 20.45. Again, at this level, one lot of put, sorry, call bought at 32. So 32 plus 20, 52. My average is 52. And then wait, wait till last. Either the call will become zero or the put will become zero. Now, in this case, what will happen? See, you can see what happened. At the end, let us take the last 105 and 0. So, against 52 rupees investment, you got 105. Now, how this trade was possible? If you are not resorting to this mathematical technique, you will never ever understand at what level to buy, when to buy. See now at this time 11.15. Let us go to chart now. See 11.15. Even the index that is spin nifty was at its lowest. So the question does not arise how you will come to know that this is at the lowest and 
simple this level particular will be breached only when you get two candles below the line there are certain conditions the candle shouldn't touch this line that is the one condition the close should be lowest low the candle should be red and the body should be bigger than the week now in this case the body is not bigger than the week so this is not possible this case the close is not lowest low the previous candle week is lower than this then again this become the first candle we need two candle we call first candle the signal candle and confirmation candle should close below the low of the signal candle this is where the signal candle is formed but when the first attempt is failed very rarely you find the second attempt succeeding so this was very well confirmed plus our level 19,527 that market will bottom out at this particular level. Had the market really gone down that could have gone at this level but this point it never went down. Again when the green candle closed this whole pattern was foiled. This attempt was foiled. Second attempt market tried at this level. Now see this is not a big red candle or the previous candle is a huge big red candle. This is not. So on the basis of this, at the same time, 11.15, you can see, see, while touching the lowest low. So first you, the moment you come to know that the price is coming down, see the price has gone below this, you will look forward to one such level, one such moment, whereby the call and put will be below their respective center line. First you, this first you got, you bought this, when it touched, you got this. And then you waited, did nothing. The market did everything at its own. And then the price went up and did the magic. So this is Mangesh Mathematical Trading. If you want to learn more, you know, regarding this message, please contact me. 916735493. 916735493. Thank you. Thanks for your time.